that I'm going to shill right here for you, Joe. Uh, do it, that, do it. that actually doesn't matter anymore. Because once you have magic beans, it doesn't matter. You 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 can now get uh, an AV receiver based on you like the look of the on-screen display. Or you like to look at it. Like I'm looking at the Denon right here. Like, oh, it's so nice. It's got the big screen. It's not the Morantz with the tiny little porthole. But it doesn't matter. You like the little tiny porthole? You can get magic beans in it. You like, like, I, it, it was the craziest shit, right? I've had this Denon. In the uh, not in not here in the studio, but in the um in the bedroom, five point one point four Atmos setup. I swapped it out with the Yamaha A eight A A eight A, ran Magic Beans, and I watched the same stuff. Three hundred. If you saw our new post on the Spatial Group IG, you can see Joe when he does something. He, he you know he'll listen to the Amaze demo. For me, it's like three hundred because I know exactly where all these sounds are going. Right, I just, I just know because I've watched it so many times, and damn, I forgot I was using the Yamaha. Like that's 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 what I'm saying. Like the, it sounded so similar to the Denon that I was kind of blown away, and that was because of Magic Beans. So like we're in a world here now. We are we are now in the post Magic Beans paradigm, <laughs> where it doesn't matter what AVR you get because you just use Magic Beans, you're going to get the best out of it. And it's going to sound so much more similar because now you're getting a custom target curve for your room. Boom. That's it. I, thank you. Thank I'm you good. for that. And I would just add that it also, it still depends kind of because certain AVRs allow you to do more than others. So Chad AV says that if you have Odyssey XT, it doesn't have as good a filter resolution. And that's true. Um, there are some versions. Well, what is that? Anthem. Anthem doesn't let you do very much. So the limitation is not what Magic Beans can do. It's sometimes what the yeah. AVR allows you to do. Sure. So, you know, most new AVRs have PEQ, so it'll allow you to do a lot with it. But I get what you're saying. You're saying if you have the capability on the AVR to apply your own parametric EQs, let's say there's 10 per per channel, you're probably going to be able to make that sound like any other AVR that has the same yeah. capability. Um, yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, um, yeah. you're going you're gonna to get a similar experience. You know, okay. everything else being the same, like speakers and whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I was not, I didn't have an external amp in that room. It was just everything off the AVR. Yeah. And I do have a, uh, a test coming up. One of the products I have in is the Tone Winner AT300. It's oh, you got one. Channel preamp, mm -hmm. preprocessor, right? And I, I don't know what kind of room correction it has. And I was just kind of saying, I think people, based on what I see here, may not buy that because they don't know what type of room correction it has. But it does have parametric EQ, so I'm very curious to see how it can compare mm. to the HTP One that has Dirac, right? And I'm yeah. applying Magic Beans to that. So can you buy this Tone Winner AT300 that's a lot less expensive and use Magic Beans as room correction? How's that going to sound? So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm I'm, I'm hopeful. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. That just came in today. I also got now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.